What is up, YouTube? So this is going to be a POV of Frost Nine as Saracens. Now you're going to recognize some of the other names in here. If you are from the Mitchie community, you don't. Camrat, Dark Killermon, Bakihana, all ranked deathmatch players. Favorite is a long-standing, uh, not long-standing, he's a very well-respected member of Quendi Clan from the Deathmatch as well, uh, the ranked Deathmatch scene. And the Code, a.k.a. Orcut, is a top three ranked Deathmatch player. So we're going to be on board with Frost right off the bat. He's going to have all his idle villagers make a market. He's going to buy stone, I assume. Bot stone, delete the market. That's a habit of uh, ranked deathmatch players. Taking market, deleting it to hide to the fact that they took the market. But this is Mitchy, but it's still a habit. Each villager individually on a town center. Some on houses, one going to make corner markets. We're going to speed up a little bit. This is with a 15 minute treaty. More markets right here to quickly produce trade carts. Town center, lumber camp on the front wood line to collect wood. That is obvious when you play Saracens. Space for his teammates who is Vikings. Uh, over here we have Siege Workshops. He has a plan in place. Siege Onagers, cut, rush, as soon as the treaty ends. And behind those are castles. In front of his base, more castles. Gonna select V lock on, see what he's doing. Getting all of those idle villagers at work. In his home base, he currently has 10 town centers, one on the wood line, lumber camps everywhere else. All markets have been queued except for the ones that are unbuilt. Back on view lock. More lumber, lumber, more lumber camps. View lock off. Here come the farms. As is needed when you are a Saracen player to quickly get out those camels or Mamluks, whatever you plan on building. More siege workshops. You lock on. Like I said, he's making sure all of his idle villagers are busy when they have constant productivity. I would have capture age on, but I believe this is more. This I believe this is better, especially if I am doing a a single player analysis. With it being Frost, it's better to be able to have the option to do V-Lock to see their POV. He's bringing in more castles in front of his teammates' base, so that way he can assist them if need be. He's gonna turn back V-Lock on. We have two minutes left in the treaty. Deleting excess villagers, creating siege workshops, trebuchets. I heard cut. Am I wrong? I am wrong. My apologies. Turning that back off. Trebs coming in. Total of 15 trebs, 22 siege onagers, onagers, onagers. I call them onagers. It's a habit. And Mamluks coming in. No stables yet. has a total of 40 farms in the back 25 seconds left in the treaty I'm gonna speed it up to the treaty ends we look on
looks like he hopes for a quick game. I want to see who's in front taking the V-Lock off. So we have Camera from the other side also cutting. Camera is Byzantines. And uh, we have a fight between Killermon and Favorite. Ethiopians versus Teutons. Back up here on board. Spread formation with the Mamelukes. That way they can dodge Onager shots. Be locked back on. Target ground. Target ground again. like or cut pause the game you lock off check it back over here looks like dark killer mon is basically just chilling while favorite is invading his base red and yellow playing it safe blue they turn them hierarchus aka jericho all caps is making a move makihana is also chilling back over here on board with frost See Johnnigers advancing. Camrat's placing a lot of bombard towers. He's going to try to hold the line. Will he be able to? I doubt it with 15 traps coming in behind as well. It's gonna be very problematic. Now as far as eco or economy goes, 120 trade cards, 43 farmers, 43 lumberjacks, and five stupid idle villagers. Goal from Frost Nine, what it looks like is to assault the enemy's base with Mamelukes and Siege Onagers while micering his army and having 15 trebuchets destroy everything and it, that is within range. Orchid's coming in with bombard cannons as pulls to try to offer assistance to camera. Not much action anywhere else openings or attempted to open Jericho with a lot of army that is just sitting there idle <laughs> gonna speed it up a little bit the Cavaliers in from the code just get torn to pieces by the main Luke's forward building coming from Frost in a form of a castle his economy still looks the same no growth whatsoever he has made rams to assist the Trebs in clearing away so mind keep in mind the only people in here that have played Michi before that have knowledge how to play Michi how it goes is Jericho who is blue frost nine and teal and the code aka or cut who is red everyone else I believe does not play Michi All Frost has to do in this matchup between Saracens versus Byzantines is hold the line, aka have his army hold the front, directly in front of the trebuchets and keep them protected while they clear away for his army. That is li literally the only thing that Frost 9 has to do. With no, no, no answer from any Siege Onagers whatsoever. again camera was able to eliminate all 15 trebuchets but I fear that Frost is going to bounce back with these got 18,889 gold from favorite camels now from favorite to assist main Luke's of Frost with Sea John coming in as well no traps yet Switching back on board with Jericho. He has cut all the way through. Now is fighting Yellow, who I have no idea who that is. Bakihana is now 
has now advanced into the code space. Favorite is still, I think Favorite is holding. I think Favorite is holding against Dark Killer Bond. Or Dark Killer Bond is just that good. Who's to say? We're not analyzing them or watching Frost. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love watching them play. Cataphracts are gonna get torn to pieces by main loops. Main loops, main loops. Ross could just send his main Luke army in the, into the back trade, but I think he is playing with the utmost respect for his opponent. here directly to the right of frost favorite has now passed the wood line is now assaulting dark killer bond or cut and bakihana are both going head to head jericho has completely eviscerated anything blocking his way within yellow's base is down Looks like Frost Knight is, uh, quote, chillin', end quote. Ping in the top corner. Trade cards are idle. And looks like Frost Knight has sent some main looks into the back trade to disrupt the gold flow of the other team. Another ping coming in regarding the trade. At first it was Frost, now it's favorite. The other side, Jericho has completely ran all the way through into the trade and walling it off to add insult to injury. The code is still fighting Poles versus Vikings and seems to be doing well along with an assisting move from Dark Killer Mon in the form of Paladins and Teutonic Knights. I think it's safe to call it, to say it's GG, Jericho has completely went all the way into the trade. With no gold, they will not be able to make their really good units for a consistent gold flow. Continuous, constantly continuing cataphracts, ball, camera. Fades into the oblivion and dies, ladies and gentlemen. Frost Nine has reigned victorious against Camrat, which is irrelevant because it's a fucking team game. I'm just joking. I thought I would like be a little bit weird. It's so difficult to spectate and cast a deathmatch Michi game because most of it is the same process over and over again. The only thing that is different is how people set up their bases and how they fight. Some people will make swordsmen as Persians because they have low IQ. Other people will make, oh, I don't know, eagle warriors as Aztecs and have them fight Teutonic Knights because they're fucking psychotic. I support them. I support them. Do what makes you happy. Just know there will be certain situations that you will do something very stupid that will piss your teammates off. Like yellow. Oh, like yellow. If I was purple, red, or green, I'd lose my fucking mind! How does Mongols run through a Tatars? Oh my god, you had no castles, bro. All you need to do is make like four or five castles, spam the shit out of flaming camels, combine that with the full power of hand cannoneers and a lot of cavalry, and micro the cavalry into the siege. But no! You wanna tap the fuck out? Why are you tapping out? Why do you disrespect the code in such a way that irritates the holy fuck out of me? Oh my god, your castle's on fire. Or cut. Get a bucket of water. Holy shit, the king is burning. 
Oh my fucking cavaliers, bro. Fucking cavaliers. Shit. Oh my god, we're right here. It's in the trade. What's the trade? Where? Holy shit. There is no fucking trade. It's barely a little. Frost died. You are. You are incredible. You are amazing. You are immaculate. I have nothing more to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. We know who the winning team is. Good night.